after we put together these three Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom dinosaur skeletons, we are going to create a huge pool of slime and slime our dinosaurs. How cool! Welcome to WT Toys to have fun. Okay, guys, we have our swimming pool full of slime, and I'm gonna have our assistant show you how gross it is. Okay, let's go ahead and slime that Triceratops. Oh, get him good. Get more slime than that. Wow, that is disgusting. Oh, okay. Well, okay, today we are going to turn this swimming pool into a swimming pool of slime using slime bath. Oh. So basically, you pour the slime bath stuff in and you give it some time to dissolve and it will turn the whole swimming pool into slime. It is totally awesome. So they give you instructions on how much to put. So four of these will do 120 liters. So I believe if I use three, I should be fine. Already you can see it turning into slime. And then this one's a smaller one. So I'm gonna add this one to be on the safe side. And then I'll give it a little bit of time. Then we're gonna take some of our dinosaurs and put them in here, including the Mosasaurus. Awesome. Let's go ahead and check it out. Oh, that was gross. Already, you can see the slime is starting to form. So, I will mix it up and give it some time. Cool. Okay, let's slime that Velociraptor assistant. Oh, that is disgusting. Swimming pool full of slime. Okay, dip him in the water. Pull him out. Let's see him. Oh, look how gross that is. Okay, let's slime this diggy. Oh, that's disgusting. Dip him in the water. Pull him out. Oh, look at all that slime. Quick, slime him. <laughs> it's hard to grab. Ew. Gross. Ew. Oh, the Mosasaurus is in a pool of slime. How disgusting. Assistant, let's pick that up and show everybody how gross it is. Oh, turn him upside down. Oh, look at that. The slime's coming right out of him. Oh, look at him, the slime's just coming right out of him. How gross is that? Ew! I'm gonna have two of my assistants help me slime the submarine. Let's go for it! Hey, what's up? Ah, oh, those guys inside are getting slimed. Use both hands, assistants. Wow, cool. Ew, come on, keep on sliming that guy. Oh, it's so disgusting. Yeah. Oh, look, that sticky malak is in the slime. Let's pick him up and check him out. Oh. Oh, look at all that slime. Okay, let's check out the Velociraptor and the Triceratops, too. Okay. Go ahead, assistant, pick him up. Oh. Gross. Okay, let's get the Triceratops. Oh, gross. Look at all that slime. That is so gross. Okay, all assistants. Let's play in the pool. Okay, assistants. Let's see some slime added. Yeah, look at all the slime. Oh, gross. Oh, look at all that slime. That is disgusting. Who wants to go swimming in a swimming pool of slime? Oh, how oh, gross. Yeah, you guys tell, tell the viewers what that feels like. It's very slimy. 
Does it feel like a swimming pool of boogers? Yeah! Oh, it's so gross. Whoa, guys, great to see you again today. Today, I've got three brand new Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom toy sets. These are STEM sets. STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and math. So these are skeletons you put together. Uh, and then they also move. So we've got the Velociraptor. If you look back here, it says easy to assemble. Comes with like a picture, some type of DNA strand thing here. It says build and strike. Awesome. And then we also have a Stiggy Malak. And same thing on the back. And a Triceratops. Awesome, man. Same thing on the back. Cool. Let's see what's inside and put these together. Okay, so we're going to start here with this Diggy Malak. Whoa, that looks cool. Okay, so here you've got... It looks like it's some type of uh, DNA strand. Wow, that's awesome. Uh, blue and red DNA strand here. You've got a little display stand. You got one bag of bones, two bag of bones, three bag of bones, four bags, and five bags. But not that many pieces. I mean, just a quick look here, probably about 15 to 20 pieces. And then you've got this Stiggy Moloch with the head smash. And the cool picture of him on this side. And this is a set of instructions. Awesome. Also, oh, you use that DNA uh, decoder thing to actually put, attach his head. And that will give you the strike action. Cool. And then let's check out what is in the Triceratops. I believe these sets are about 10 bucks, so it's not, it's not too bad. And from what I'm feeling, they seem to be pretty good quality. So DNA strand. A uh, few bags here. Looks like they separate like the arm bones, the leg bones, and certain types of vertebrae so it's easier to put together. Then this one also has the little sticker thing here you set on the stand and the DNA strand. Cool. And then our final one was the Velociraptor, which in my opinion is the coolest out of the three. So again, a set of instructions here, how to put it together. It's like all numbered out and everything. Uh, display stand, uh, card with like info, uh, DNA strand, and a bunch of bone pieces. Cool. Let's put this together. Okay, so the first dino we're going to put together is the Velociraptor. Each one of these parts has a number on it, and if you look at the instructions, they're all numbered, the instructions. So it's pretty self-explanatory. Some of the pieces are a little hard to fit together, but, you know, it is doable. So, without further ado, let's snap this thing together. So there is our Velociraptor all put together. He is really cool. Anyways, the mouth does open and close. The arms move. Uh, the legs move and swivel. Big long tail. Let's see if that doesn't fit together all that good. Okay, so really cool. They included third claw and everything. And you could go ahead and compare it one of the Jurassic World Velociraptor toys and it's very comparable in size 
So uh, if you watched my last video, you could have this guy like drop into the slime and get dissolved and it's a bunch of bones. Cool. Okay, then for the thrashing action, you simply replace this bone piece here with the action feature piece, attach the two arms. You could pull the arms back. Then if you push the button, the arms spring forward. <laughs> Not much of an action feature, but it's there. Okay, then when you're all done, you have this nice little stand here. He's got pegs on the bottom of his legs. You could go ahead and set him up here. You got this stand with the Velociraptor card in the back and you could put a live Velociraptor here. That is awesome! Okay, then our next one is the Stiggy Maloc. Same thing, all the parts are numbered. So there is our Stiggy Moloch all put together and here he is next to a live one. So you could have like action battles with like the T-Rex here. So the T-Rex would attack the Stiggy Moloch and eat him. All that's left is the bones. Okay, so anyways, let's go ahead and check it out once again. Mouth does open and close. It does look exactly like the Stiggy Moloch. The arms move, the legs move. You could pose it into different positions. Even like, yeah, you can even put it like in a walking position if you use the stand. So take the stand here. He's got pegs at the bottom of his feet. And you could put him into a walking position and then put like his sign behind him and everything cool but anyways uh, let's go ahead and check out the action feature so for the action feature this one you're just gonna take off his neck piece here and you're gonna replace it with this piece here so it's just the same snap-ons here and it snaps on here. And then you have head striking action. So then what you do is you pull the head back like that, you push this button, and his head snaps forward. Cool. Okay, and then finally we have our Triceratops. So there is our Triceratops right next to a live one. So this one, you could have the Triceratops fight the T-Rex. Ah, T-Rex gets him, bites a massive hole into his side, and eats him. <laughs> That's fun. Okay, so with the Triceratops too, a uh, really good detail. Like I said, you can see it next to a live one, and they do a great job. Also, with these skeletons, I mean, they make them super secure. I mean, these, you could shake it, play with it. I mean, they are, they're a little bit hard to put together, but once you put them together, they are really secure. The mouth does open and close. The head turns, the legs move, the uh, legs, I believe they bend. So you could, you could have him lift like some of the legs up, almost like he's walking or something. Really great detail. Uh, the tail does move and it swivels. And you could also put it on 
it stands for display. It has pegs, so if you want, you could probably even get this guy to stand up once you put the bottom pegs in, because that'll give it a lot of strength. And then, uh, maybe not. Okay, I mean, you could get him to stand like that, so it looks almost like he's running. And then here in the background, you have his awesome stand you put up. Uh, this one too has the uh, head action here, the uh, like head butting action. So if you go ahead and switch it out with this piece here, simply switch that out, snap this piece in. I said it snaps. You might need an adult to help you put this together. I might need an adult to help me put this together. <laughs> okay, so anyways, like this, pull off the head there. If you push the button, his head will snap forward. Cool. Okay, guys, that was awesome. If you guys enjoyed that sliming video, go ahead, click like, drop me comments. Also, I do got over a thousand videos. The majority are. Jurassic World, Jurassic Park, Godzilla, King Kong, Transformers, Power Rangers, Ninja Turtles, Scooby-Doo, and a lot more. Check out the playlist on my channel. Or if you just want to see more Fallen Kingdom videos, check out the playlist at the end of this video. You guys are awesome, and I will see you tomorrow. And today's secret word is the word... Go ahead and put that in the comment section down below the video. I'll know you are a member of my club. Click the subscribe button below for a lot more fun videos. Also, click the bell button to be notified every time I make a new video. Click the boxes below for a lot more fun videos. And if you want to see even more, go ahead and click the subscribe button.